Hello there, in this video we're going to be talking about reflections in indoor environments. So if you're new here, we are um, creating an ArcBeast project to finally publish it in Play Store. Uh, we've done the lighting part uh, and now uh, we have to do the reflection part. So for the, for the reflection part, you have two choices. So if you go into the edit project settings in the rendering tab, you have forward shading or deferred shading. Let me um, explain how different everything will look. The default shading of Unreal Engine 5 for mobile devices is forward shading. It will look something like this. Maybe a little bit better, maybe sometimes worse, but it's uh, it's just cube map reflection. So what is cube map reflections? If you go in here, so we have a box reflection capture, but if you come in here in the um, visual effects, you have sphere reflection capture, box reflection capture. Sphere reflection capture is just a sphere which it, uh, that is capturing reflection, of course, it just captures a 360 image of the environment it's like a six um, planes on top of each other which uh, creates an environment of reflection and then it's just an something like an HDRI image that's then being used as a reflection and box reflection and capture is not a sphere anymore it's just a box it's a cube that's capturing the same reflection into an HDRI image something like an HDRI image but it's uh, at the end of the day, it's just a cube map. We have a box reflection uh, here. I just pressed G to see what's up in my screen. Uh, so we have box reflection capture. Um, it's just a box, as you can see, if we use a sphere reflection capture, it will just be a sphere. The reflection uh, that's being built by sphere reflection capture will all be like carvey like this but box reflection capture is just incredible for uh, indoor reflections okay so after you've uh, put a, ref a, a box reflection capture or sphere reflection capture into your scene you can just drag them into your scene You'll, de you'll then have to, if you're working on uh, indoor environments, then box reflection capture is your best bet. I'd suggest if you have one room, then one box reflection capture is enough. But if you have, for example, three rooms, then three uh, box reflection captures. But if your environment is an outdoor environment, which is not what we're talking about right now, then sphere reflection capture. It all only works if you are using forward shading. So if I go, I mean, if you don't know how to do that, preview rendering level is set to Android ES 3.1. We don't have any reflections. I mean, we do. Yeah. We, we've already had the box reflection capture in here, but we don't see any reflections like at all. It's just because we're using different shading. So to use box reflection capture or sphere reflection capture cube maps on mobile, you have to be using forward shading. On the other hand, if you're not going to be using um, reflection cube maps and if you want something like a screen space reflection, something like this, that if you are seeing something in the scene, then the reflection is visible uh, in the floor or any other uh, reflective surface that you have, then you have to, in the rendering tab, go and change the mobile shading to different shading. Again, it's called uh, screen space planar reflection. It doesn't work on forward shading. You have to be using different uh, different sh shading, and then in the planar reflection mode, it should be either mobile PPR exclusive or mobile PPR. And then, if you type in global clip support global clip plane for planar reflections, this one uh, must be enabled. Without it, it wouldn't work. 
then you have to restart the editor and come in here um uh, you have a scene that you can come in here type in planar reflection and then drag one into the scene i have two planar reflection let me disable the first one so this is what we have in our scene by default so if you play the game the reflections are all good if you don't have any reflections double check this one maybe it's set to forward shading this is very important hit g on your keyboard to see what you have on your screen or play the game this is just a previewer for you uh, if you pay close attention these places are not casting uh, any reflections just because these places are not in the screen so whatever that's visible in the screen then you'll have the reflection as well so we don't have uh, we don't see this one it's not being rendered in the scene this one we're not going to have it in the reflection as well we're not seeing the tv we're not going to have it in the reflection as well it's as easy as that one thing to optimize it though is in the details panel you don't need capture every frame and capture on movement these two should be disabled since we're only working on a static environment nothing's really moving and the lighting everything's static so we don't really need anything on that regard um and that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit that like button and have a great day bye